Hi, I'm Fabio Mercur again, uh, here at Global Derivatives 2013, and I'm here with uh, um, Manish Deshpande, who is a Manager Director and uh, um, Head of uh, America's um, uh, Equity Derivative Strategies at, at Parkers Capital. And uh, uh, Manish, it's great to, be, to have you here, Thank so you. Um, we can start by asking you to briefly summarize your um, your background and uh, your work experience, your you know, your recent um, research interests. Sure. So I work at Barclays. I, I run the derivatives research group. Uh, so what we do is we focus on um, helping clients uh, sort of develop strategies, either it's alpha strategies or it could be hedging strategies. So we work with alpha, you know with pension plans, we work with hedge funds, we work with other dealers, um, and try to come up with strategies that will help make money. So I don't particularly focus on developing models to price derivatives, it's much more how to use options. Uh, and the options can range from uh, single stocks, it can range from options on indices. Also, I guess the, the most, uh, our focus recently has been on mostly on VIX uh, futures and VIX derivatives also. Oh, that, that's interesting. In a particular, like, uh, uh, say, sector or a currency, or I mean, you have like a... No, I tend to focus on equities, uh, but also yes. it's, it's interesting that because now you have ETS for almost everything, uh, so we also, you know, so we'll also talk about uh, other cross-asset options also, and so it could be on gold, it could be on rates, uh, but the focus is on equity derivatives. Yeah, but regarding equities, I mean, uh, you, you basically you don't have any, like, uh, um, differentiation regarding the sector, so it can be a, a, any any sector on the yeah. equity market. Anything on equity market, yes. Right, and uh, so in the use of derivatives and on um, volatility-based products, I mean, uh, um, is really essential nowadays to enhance performance and uh, yes, absolutely. Hedge. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. I think uh, I think what we're seeing is there's a big change. So I've been doing this now for five years. Over the last two years, I think there's a big change. I think the most interesting thing I think is there is there's been new entrants into the equity derivatives markets. You know, traditionally it have been sort of just your plain hedgers and the equity volatility hedge funds, but now what you're seeing is that sort of cross asset investors ranging from um, from uh, uh, from credit to to other other asset class investors coming into the equity derivatives markets because of the high liquidity in the sector in the in the, in the market. So uh, when do you see that this kind of flow will actually stop and maybe revert? No, I don't think it will revert. I think what is happening is clearly I think there's a big one of the reasons it is happening is because equity derivatives really are one of the markets where uh, you know everything is transparent and so a lot of the the trading which used to happen in other asset classes in um, in using OTC or OTC format is now coming to the exchange, and so if you look at VIX options, it's very it's very nice for credit investors because it's a it's a listed market. There is complete transparency. There is no counterparty risk. I think that's one of the big drivers why sort of a lot of the flow is now coming to equity derivatives. Oh, that's that's interesting. And um, so, uh, in your strategies, what are the main type of risks you are trying to hedge? So, so usually it would be you know let's say a pension plan and they have a diversified portfolio and they're looking to hedge tail risk, for example. Right. And the key challenge for them is, of course, if you just buy options, it would cost a lot to do that on, on normally. But the, what they want to do is sort of have a hedge which is not uh, too expensive to carry. So we design different strategies which try to take advantage of different dislocations in, in the equity derivatives market uh, and sort of, sort of decrease the carry to some extent. At the same time, do provide convexity when the tail event happens. On the alpha side, you know, there are various dislocations in the equity market and we try to develop strategies which try to take advantage of them. Is there, um, you know, any challenge or what's the main challenge you want to um, to want to uh, express at the moment regarding your, uh, you know, right. strategy design or? I think the main challenge is with this kind of work which tends to be very empirical. So it's not, you know, of course we do use mathematics and sort of use sort of the standard models, but the big challenge is not to get too carried away with data mining. Because right. a lot of these prop, you know, a lot of these products are, are relatively new, and so you want to see if the experience of the last four or five years, how that will change once we get sort of away from this post-crisis mode and go back sort of to a more normal market. I see. And uh, maybe one last question, because you mentioned that you don't really care about uh, modeling or uh, options. Or so, uh, and but you still want to combine maybe you know like the um, the underlying asset with uh, the British market. So yes. you you need to have some kind of model. What sense? I mean, you don't care about the underlying model. No, no. So we do care about the models. All I'm saying is that you know I would not. Because, for, for example, we deal with usually with listed products. So, right. VIX options are complicated, so we use models for that. Mm -hmm. 
but if you're trading with vanilla options, you don't particularly care about a complicated stochastic volatility model. You do use the insights, but it's not as detailed as some of the other participants at this conference. And that makes sense. That makes absolutely. And uh, and uh, what you do for um, for managing like. Uh, um, Portfolios based on different asset classes. You, you told me about like commodities as well. So it's uh, uh, do you edge correlation somehow, or actually you try to exploit some correlation that maybe the market is not pricing correctly? You do yes, you do tend to do that to some extent. You know, for example, one of the big themes that we saw from clients was uh, even if you have an equity portfolio, how can you use commodity options or FX options to hedge that portfolio? And that becomes complicated because you do have basis risk. We have to be careful about that. Some of the work we have done tries to quantify those effects. That's great. Anything else you want to add? Some uh, some challenge for the future, for no, example. No, I think I think that's great. Uh, no challenge for the future. That's no, no, uh, that's a lot of challenges. <laughs> I think we have discussed a lot of those. Great. Thank you so much for having me here. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.